Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is my quick and easy step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use EQ on your vocal track. So here I have a vocal track. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. And if I double tap on the track header, then tap on effects, I get to this effects preset screen. And if I tap on the plus icon, I can create a new empty preset on this track. This video is about the different types of EQ you can use on your vocal track, but it's not compulsory to use all of them. Now, all the EQs are in the Tone tab, so scroll through the tabs and tap on the Tone tab. Now let's start with the lowest sound frequencies and work up. So tap on the Multi filter. Here we will use the Multi filter to remove low frequency hum and room noise that can be picked up by your microphone. Tap on the filter drop list and tap on low shelf. Now drag the dot on the gain slider all the way to the left. Then tap on the frequency text box Type in 150 and tap on save. Now you shouldn't hear any difference in the vocals. If you do, drag the dot on the frequency slider a little to the left. But the frequency text box should still say between 100 and 150. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. Next, let's look at shaping the sound of your vocals. Tap on the plus icon. And tap on Graphic EQ. 400 Hz is about where you will find vocal muddiness. So dragging the dot on the 400 Hz slider to the left should remove that muddiness. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. 800 Hz is about where you will find the boxy sound in some vocals. So dragging the dot on the 800 Hz slider to the left should remove the boxy sound. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. To make your vocal sound clearer in the mix, drag the dot on the 1.6 kHz slider to the right, or drag the dot on the 3.2 kHz slider to the right, or a combination of both. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. To add some brightness to your vocals, drag the dot on the 6.4 kHz slider to the right. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. How far you drag the dots, left or right, will depend on your vocals. But usually, I don't move the dots by more than 5 to 6 dB. Finally, let's boost the high frequencies to make your vocals sound more open and airy. 
Now tap on the plus icon and tap on multi-filter again. Now tap on the filter drop list and tap on high shelf. Now drag the dot on the gain slider all the way to the right. Then drag the dot on the frequency slider all the way to the right as well. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. Now tap on the back arrow. Then tap on the X icon. It's a slippery rope we slide, slide on down. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.